Following heartbreak in Philly, the Cowboys are now second place outright behind the Eagles at six and two. Of course, still right there in the hunt in the NFC. But as we take a look at some of the free agents or potential upcoming free agents from the Cowboys roster, we have $19 million in cap room for next year. We have some tough decisions we have to make about who we're gonna to try to re-sign and bring back for the next roster heading into year two of our franchise. And looking to rebound off of that loss, we head back home, taking on the one and eight New York Giants. This will be our second matchup against the Giants, looking to sweep them on the season series. So we're back in Jerry World, again, off the heels of that tough loss turnovers were the issue Dak Prescott two interceptions too many had a tremendous game otherwise looking to rebound have a good top stat line against Daniel Jones and this New York football Giants well after a sack incomplete pass it's a third and ten here for Dak and the Cowboys who are backed up on a third and 19 and there is CeeDee Lamb getting loose out of the seam you can't press the man whenever he's in the slot Getting burned for the score. It's a touchdown Dallas. Here are the Giants trying the answer. First and goal of their own. Ball at the nine yard line here. Audible out to Darren Waller. So we move inside and it's pit, it's almost picked. It's Trayvon Diggs lowering the shoulder through the contact right there and jarring the ball loose. So second and goal here. And they're gonna go outside right there. And there he is. It is a stop. There's Gilmore, the veteran. One-on-one -on -one with Barkley takes him down. So empty pocket here for Daniel Jones. Third and goal. Watching the pressure here and wide open, but a bad throw. It's gonna be a three and out at the goal line. We got Pollard in the backfield backfield here trying to get some big push up front. He does, he gets a block or two as well down near midfield. First down and 10, Dallas trying to put this ball in the end zone on this drive. And we have a wide open target here. It's gonna be a catch and a first down from Michael Gallup, putting us down at the 20. So second and four to second quarter, seven, three Dallas lead. Baller here getting the pull on the handoff, and he's got a block up right here, and he's going to be hit hard, but pushes forward even further for the first. So a second and goal from the 12. Dallas a little behind the chains on this drive. Oh, we have a wide open target. Ferguson shoots strings in. It's a touchdown. What a ball. What a catch from Ferguson. And the Cowboys expand the lead. So here we go. Third and one. Cowboys. Oh, my gosh. CD wide open on the seam. It's jumped, though. I should have thrown a lob over the top. A millivised pass, a mistake made, the first one of this game. Again, the picks been an issue the last few weeks. Let's hope that's the one and only. So third and one after that INT, we'll see if we can stop this drive on its tracks. And uh, Saquon has other plans, break it through midfield. Third and nine after that pick, Dallas defense just trying to see if we can get this giant offense off the field without a score. I mean, it's going to be with tough and I mean, wide open out of the zone there. Daniel Jones has two picks in the day, but really settling in on this drive. So a second and five. Saquon, you got to watch him. And there he is. It's a touchdown for Campbell. Probably should have been a ball that had at least a chance for a pick, but Wilson didn't make a play on it. There we are, picking things up in the second half. 14-10 Dallas lead. Let's see if Dak has a much more crisp second half after that pick he threw in the first half. He's got to throw in zone here, and it is batted away. Thrown over a little bit. Probably should have been thrown underneath a little bit more. We have a third and four. Dallas looking to expand the lead. Again, the Giants hanging around here with the Dallas Cowboys today. There's a pass caught and dropped off the huge hit from Pollard. So here we are in the second half. Dallas defense looking to get a big stop here in this third quarter. The offense has done nothing this quarter for the Cowboys to help matters at all. And the defense, though, doing their part. Jordan Lewis coming off the corner blitz to sack the second of the day for the Cowboys. So with a new set of downs, we have an opportunity here to capitalize as we have Cooks there, a pass that is caught by Michael Gallup actually for the grab at the 21. Now Deuce Vaughn, again, breaking out this season, helping these Cowboys in key situations this year. Coming through here, we get another big play from Vaughn down to the six first and goal. So first and goal at the six yard line, we're gonna go a little play action, boot action here. And we have a target open and it is Ferguson. Touchdown Cowboys, a beautiful ball and play call from H.B. Coleman. And Dak Prescott with the Ferguson connection adds a little extra room to this lead. After two straight incompletions, here we are. Third and 10, giant single back formation. Hankins gets the push up front, bringing pressure. Here comes, ten, uh, that's Parsons there. He just throws it away to survive. And it's a fourth down. And Dallas deciding to dial up a man zero blitz here. 
Bring some pressure to Daniel Jones. Get in his pocket quick. And there he is again, Demarcus. I'm sorry, Micah Parsons. First sack on the day. Third tackle. About time he's showing up in the biggest moment. And they're going to keep the offense out on the field. Maybe too early for that. But let's see. It's fourth and 12. Going cover one here on the play. And they're going screen pass. And it's incomplete. Turnover on downs. Tank right there with the pressure. Dallas will take over an amazing field position ball at the Giants 30. And we're going to see if we can get a big break here. And there's Cooks with the catch and the room. Touchdown for the Cowboys. Newest receiver. A former Texan now thriving here in an opportunity with the Cowboys. So they dial it up. It's another man zero blitz. It's all or nothing on this play. And the pressure's there. And there is Parsons unblocked. A sack with ease for Micah. So Coleman's group re regroups after the loss. We hand the Giants another loss as we continue to be a tough team here in the NFC. And as we're meeting with our assistant GM, they're keeping an eye on wide receiver Nathan Jackson and the recruiting class for the, uh, the upcoming draft class. So somebody to keep an eye on in the upcoming draft class. Keep your eye on Nathan Jackson. And here is that Nathan Jackson. He's going to be one of our uh, spotlight focus players. Again, they're projecting him to be a second to third round pick. Right now, if you're looking at his scouting card, he, he has some upside in some certain areas. Now, you, there's a lot of unknowns currently with him. They're listing him at 6'2", 200 pounds, 22 out of Syracuse with a play mark, playmaker archetype. But right now, if you're looking at his overall skills, not much is known to short route and spectacular C's, but the release and uh, all out of D. So he could be either a pretty solid player or a, a player that won't do much little is known currently and here we are ladies and gentlemen you have one of the best offenses in the nation here with the cowboys taking on one of the top defenses with carolina they're four and five this is a big game for them on their home field we're taking on one of the best quarterbacks out of college football heading on taking on blah, blah, blah. so here we are the cowboys in carolina taking on the panthers here they got a rookie quarterback. We have one of the best offenses in the league, but they have been carried. J.C. Horn and this number four defense has been elite. But can we shut down Bryce Young, the rookie, and the four and five Carolina Panthers? So here comes Dak and company for our first possession. Can the Cowboy offense keep rolling along here against this tough and dynamic defense? And I think, honestly, for our game plan today, it's got to lean on Pollard as much as possible. Really got to just gut this defense as best we can. Pollard there doing his part early down at the logo. 12 yards on his first touch. So Dallas 10 plays on this drive. 50-50 on the play calls here from Coleman. And we're looking to see what we can get done here. Dak just going to take off. Nobody in front. It's a touchdown for number four. Dak Prescott getting the Cowboys on the board early. And the Cowboys started to figure something out here as uh, Andy Dalton apparently starting quarterback here with carolina i don't know what's up with that if they're not giving bryce young the the day but it don't matter because odigi zua brings him down it's a fourth and 29 from their six is dalton feeling the pain hecker will boot the turpin turpin taking it from cowboys side of the field it's a pretty good punt honestly in all accounts and he's gonna take a good seam good route to it as he's taken across midfield to the 40. And as we don't do anything on offense, you have DJ Chark Jr., Andy Dalton connection on the sim. It's a tie game now here late in the first. So a third and three here, big third down play. We're going Pollard on the wide zone here. And if we get the block, he may be gone. And he has some speed, but not able to quite get outside all the way. Four for 44 on the day though. The Cowboys attack on a lead with a field goal. Now third and four for Andy Dalton and the Panther offense. Let's see if we can get some pressure after him. And there's Monty Smith. A good pass, good catch. Dalton 5 for 8 with a tutty. So Dallas here in this first half has, has had some inconsistencies. But a tie game. Ball at the 21 of Carolina. Good opportunity here to find a little bit of a lead. And we're going to look up field. We find Lupicki with a nice catch down to the 2. Just kind of faded away in the back of that zone. First and goal. 308 left in the half. Cowboys trying to add on. And they get in. It's Pollard. A touchdown and the Cowboys back on top. So here we go with the third and five. A buck 38 left in the half. Seven point Cowboy advantage as well. And there is CeeDee Lamb wide open. Jukes out one. It's a foot race. He gets hit and down at the 35. Second and 10. 33 seconds remain in this half. Cowboys rolling out. Dak is going to take off. He's going to get up and it's going to be a touchdown. Dak Prescott with the legs. 
speeding past the defense of Carolina. And we are on top with another touchdown. So we're here in the second half. Cowboys up by 11. Scores 24 to 13. We're in third and seven here. And it's going to be thrown underneath. It's going to be caught by Thielen, but it's going to be fourth and four. The Cowboys were up eight. Dak Prescott and company with a good drive here, leading us down the field. And we're going to go with Pollard. Pollard is going to go in and down at the one, almost in the end zone, near 100 yards now in the day as well. So that leads us to a third down and goal for the Cowboys. And there's CD. Oh, it's jumped. What a pick. I'm giving him some credit there. He jumped that route. I thought I had him beat on that. Should have thrown it outside, I suppose. It's a pick. Cowboys can wipe away that pick, really. If we just get a three and out here, it won't matter at all. So let's see if we can just get this big play. Defense bringing pressure, and it's incomplete. Nice play from the defense to recover. As we'll get the ball back. So an opportunity has presented itself here with an eight-point deficit for Carolina. Bring some pressure here. Van Der Esch coming in pursuit, and he is there, taking him down with his first sack of the day. Too much, too up the front right there. Dalton taken down. So Carolina has stormed back in this one. It's now a two-point lead for Cowboys, and we need this offense to close this same game out. And at this point, the first down has come and gone. It, it was an ugly kind of a game for the Cowboys, but... You know, everything that, that came and went with it, it's going to be a win for us here on the road against a team that's not bad. They have some good pieces, but the Cowboys will survive it 24 to 22 here on the road with Dak not playing at his best. When we have an injury, Oso Degizua with a upper arm fracture will be missing the next three weeks. So we have to see that defensive tackle unit really step up in the absence of our run stopper. And as we prepare for our Thanksgiving Day game, you see here is the NFL landscape. You have the Eagles still at nine and one, just dominant. Then you have the Bills, the Chiefs are the top teams in the AFC, followed by us, the Colts, surprisingly, wow, are eight and two, the Browns at eight and two, the Raiders. There you see the rest of the league and where everybody's stacked up, let me know. What teams are surprising and disappointing? Comment below. Well, it is Thanksgiving Day here for this Cowboys matchup, taking on the Washington Commanders. Cowboys looking to keep momentum forward. Is Tony Pollard, again, just having a tremendous season as a running back number one for the Cowboys. And the biggest thing I'm gonna to try to do and what Dan Quinn's defense is wanting to do, we're wanting to bring pressure frequently. Lots of blitzes, lots of quick pass rushes and just get after this offensive front as we just did to force that pass and an incompletion. So both offenses have amounted for nothing at this point in the game. Another third and long here for the Cowboys. And we have a wide open seam buster. There is Ferguson. It's a first down at midfield. That's a huge game. And we will score on that drive as it'll be capped off Dak to CD from 34 yards out as we pull forward to the next possession here on third and three. So our offense does the job it needed to do. And here we are, it's Cox and Clark at the linebacker position. And we're bringing a blitz right up the gut there. And we made him get rid of it, loss of a yard. Big stop, big spot here. It's a first and 10 across midfield. We're gonna go a little play action here. And we're seeing if anything gets open here for Dax. He throws across his body, he finds CD. What kind of craziness was that? Here we are with the Deuce Vaughn action here. We're going stretch call and Deuce spinning back, picking up a nice gainer, two for 20 from the rookie from Kansas State. Second and goal, trying to see if we can get something open here on the man beater and nothing really opening up for Dak. So he's just going to take off on the ground. He finds the pylon, on, pile on, he's in. It's another rushing touchdown for Dak Prescott and it's a now a 14 point lead. Cowboys bringing some zone blitz here on this play. Good drop Lawrence and coverage a little bit. We'll see how this works out for the Cowboys. And it's not going to work out very well, I'll tell you that. It's a first down, big hit from Wilson, but it's a first and a conversion. For the Commanders, looking to get another conversion, and there it is. First and goal. Brissett is having a really solid drive here. And it's time for the two-minute warning. Ball at the one. They, you know they want to get in the end zone here on this play. And the defense is shrugged off. Strong run there from Ryan Robinson, the junior. What a play. And the Cowboys will answer back. 69 yards, Dak to CD on the sim. And as we get ready, it's probably going to be close to heading us to the locker room with seconds remaining. We are now at half, 21-7 Dallas. So second and four, it's 21-7 Dallas. 
set under center. It's play action rolling out, and it is a wide open target. Diggs playing behind it. And it is McLaurin with the touchdown. So Dallas, who came out roaring in this game, it's now a one score game. Ball at midfield with a third and one. And we're going to cut back, pick up a blocker. Pollard with a nice run down to 38. So Dallas with a second and 10. Ball at the 38 yard line of the Commanders. Looking to see if we can get something here. And there it is. It is Gallup. Easy catch. The journal opportunity down at the four. Heck of a play. So first and goal, Dallas. They go a little tricky play here to CD Lamb, who will get the edge and into the end zone. Touchdown, Lamb. Third and five. Let's see if we can get this screen pass intercepted. And Van Der Esch is there, and everybody tries to get hands on it. Ooh, I read it perfectly, but we just couldn't take away a ball. So with no timeouts left for Washington, a first down sealed the deal here for a Cowboy win here on turkey day and we have it right there if we can get it to him over the top of him oh bat it out the last second just slightly overthrown pollard had his hands on it but batted away that will do it cowboys get the turkey game win it's a nice win against a division rival uh we keep the winning games going as we again the big rematch is what we're all keeping an eye on cowboys win this one 34 21 so here we are for the finale of today's episode, the Cowboys Thursday night primetime football. Dak taking on the Seattle Seahawks. You see the numbers this year, the interception numbers a little bit higher than I'd like it to be. Taking on Geno Smith. And again, the Cowboys are now tied atop the NFC East with the Eagles, both teams at nine and two. So this game does have huge implications for the East. And we are rolling the dice, keeping the offense on the field. Here is Jones the second, also on a contract here for the Cowboys. And he picks up the first with these five yards. And the Cowboys will tap it, tap, take a touchdown in there. Dak to Pollard, 23 yards. It's a nice score as we now look at the defense trying to get a stop here against, wow, touchdown back to back. Kenneth Walker in the third. So two sim touchdowns for either team each, seven all. Pick things up, quarter two. We are still tied atop at seven. Walker the third in the backfield. They're gonna go hand things off to him. He cuts back in, but not gonna get it. No yards gain. Clark on the stop. So the Cowboys drive is continuing down at the 30 yard line here as Wagner with a blitz there coming on strong and it's caught by Cooks who will leap into the end zone. A score and the Cowboys will take the lead on a third down conversion or a nice play there on first, excuse me. Third and four for Seattle trailing by a touchdown. Geno Smith has had a solid year it looks like overall, but pressure coming here, it's a fumble. Picked up by Demarcus Lawrence. He takes it and it looks like we're gonna have our first defensive touchdown, a scoop and score. The Cowboys defense getting it done here. Big number 90 to Marcus Tank Lawrence with the scoop and score. So the Cowboys up by 14 here late in the first half. And we're just trying to see if we can keep the bleeding applied here. It is one on one. And we have a pass over to Michael Gallup. And it is another quick score. The Cowboys are decimating the Seahawks here on this Thursday night home game. So here we go with the third and 14. Seattle struggling today. I mean, completely outmatched by us. And we allow that catch right there. Malik Hooker, I thought was in a perfect spot for a pick, but we'll take it fourth and two. Time winding down. Cowboys have one timeout left, looking to get a quick play if Dak will get this ball off. Here we go. We'll see if we can get something here over the middle. We got something wide out here. We're going to go to Cooks. Cooks will step out with one second remaining. That will be enough time for Aubrey to be able to add three to the scoreboard. So it's 31-7 at the half. Cowboys rolling. Second and 12 for the Cowboys, second half, same score. We're gonna try the screen here for our boy Pollard, see if we can get a good block, we get it. And we are gonna be able to run loose and down inside the five at the three. So, I mean, everything is clicking here for the Cowboys. Deuce Vaughn now in and he will get the block in the end zone. Touchdown, it is all Cowboys. And the defense just continues to do their job. Cowboys looking to get into the 40s here on this drive. And there he is, wide open corner end zone. Shoemaker, the rookie. Oh, they say he didn't get his feet in. So that leads to a third and goal after that horrible drop pass from our man. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Dak, pick off, not gonna get it. It's okay. 
So we're going to settle for a field goal. We'll take it. We have been able to manage to keep this team out of the end zone for a long time. I mean, it's 41-7. to I'd really like to keep it that way if we can in all way possible. But terrible man coverage from me. It's an easy score for Kenneth Walker III. So that's all that we, they would write for this one. This thinks, uh, this uh, Thursday night game was very one-sided. The Cowboys put up 41 on the Seattle Seahawks, a 41-14 victory. As we conclude things here, looking forward to that big matchup as we kick off next episode with the Cowboys hosting the Philadelphia Eagles. The winner of that one will take sole control over this division.